Hi everyone. In this video, I want to share with you what has turned out to be one of my absolute favorite practice techniques, something that I actually haven't done very much of until recently. And when I tell you what it is, you're going to immediately be underwhelmed and you're going to think, well, I already know that, but maybe you haven't practiced it just in the way that I'm going to describe. And that is we're going to extract the right hand from the music that you're working on. Now that's different than practicing right hand by itself when you are learning a new technique like spiccato or sautier, or maybe you're just practicing you know, long sustained bow strokes. This is different. We're going to create a time and space to really learn more about what our right hand is doing. Um, when we're usually involved in the left hand or reading music and we're not completely aware of what the right hand is up to. So that's what we're going to do. And, and, and the benefit, the immediate benefit of this practice technique is, is that you experience a, a greater sense of control and of ease. It's just going to feel easier, whatever it is that, that you're working on. And, and it's going to clean up your playing to some degree. So I want you to stop the video. I want you to go get your violin, find a piece of music that you're familiar with, something that um, you say is maybe 85% of the way there. And, and go ahead and warm up so, so that you don't have to worry about you know, dealing with um, the ill effects of, of not being very warmed up. And I'll meet you back here with your music. All right, so read through a portion of your music and find two measures where you feel like the left hand is a little bit um, problematic. And then what I want you to do is to completely just drop your left hand and you're going to play exactly what is required of the right hand. So you have to be on the right string at the right time. You have to use the correct bowings. You have to try and be in the, the right place of the bow. So you really, really want to do exactly what you um, aspire the right hand to do. So I I just chose these two measures um, when I played through it. Uh, it wasn't as clean and sparkly as I wanted it to be. So as I do this, and I and now I'm going to have to really think, okay, well, what string am I really supposed to, to be on? First realization, you realize that the right hand really doesn't know what it's supposed to do. And you, you understand the chain of communication. Brain, left hand. So direct, direct line of communication from what you see to your left hand. Then the left hand invites the right hand to come along. Okay, so the brain does not send out, you know, two emails to both hands. It emails the left hand, then the left hand emails the right hand. So it's really interesting that. And then um, if, if it helps, you know, to, to write the letter names of the notes that you're supposed to be on, that's what I'm going to do right now. And you're going to see this. And, and now you can, you know, practice just what the right hand has. So without hesitation. <laughs> take you a while to get to the point where there's no hesitation, but keep doing it, keep doing it, because you're going to learn so much about your right hand. Okay, and then the next realization is, hmm, doesn't sound anything like the music, because your right hand likely has a completely different rhythm than the left hand rhythm. So the left and right hand rhythm together is da 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 da. Just straight triplet notes, but the right hand has something very different. Da 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 bum. That's different than the left hand rhythm. interesting dee dum bum 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 so it's like oh wow I didn't even didn't even know that was happening okay and do that 
that over and over until it just sort of becomes its own thing that you are comfortable with. And then after you do that a while, hopefully the next realization is, hmm, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that hard. What, the, what my right hand is responsible for is not difficult. Okay, it feels kind of easy, it's kind of fun. So now you start to think about tone. You start to think about bow distribution, cleanliness. Are you crossing strings well? Um, did, did the bow grab the string exactly right? Was your tone very pure? No. <laughs> so I crossed three strings here. So I'm really thinking about dropping my shoulder. I want it to be smooth. And I'm gonna do it until it feels good, until I, I like the way it feels. Okay, so this part of the practice, you know, you can, you're gonna be doing a lot because you're really gonna try to get it better and better and better. And then, finally, you're going to put the left hand back. And it's like all of a sudden, it feels better. It feels a little easier. It's a little cleaner. And you feel a little more in control. And all of that is, is great. You know, it's a real sense of accomplishment if you do that in one practice session. So... This, this is the process. It's extracting the right hand from your music, examining it on a level that you would normally never even be aware of because you're so involved in the left hand. It also expunges built up tension that is going to happen when you have left hand struggles. So if, you know, if it's a shift or if it's something you know, that's a, a difficult reach, it's your, your right arm will get tense. So by taking the left hand away, you get to experience the right hand unencumbered by the left hand. And um, it also just will give you more insight into you know, what this music is made of and, and the choreography and the elegance of, of the bow hand. So I, I hope you enjoy uh, practicing like this. Like I said, this is my favorite practice technique. I now do this with my private students in their lessons. We go through you know, measures of their music just like this, just so we can really, really focus in on you know, tone and bow distribution and articulation and all those little details that are really obscured when you're just so you know, focused in on, on the left hand. Thank you for watching.